I think I speak for everyone when I say TikTok has ruined the car scene. And in this video, we're gonna be looking at eight different cars that have absolutely been massacred by TikTok. It's always a bad feeling when a car you once loved gets overrated by a bunch of little kids who don't even have the ability to drive. Cause I promise you, nobody above the age of 15 is making an edit like this. Let's just begin, because I don't know how much more I could take. First, we're starting off strong with a car that shouldn't be on this list, but somehow managed to find its way here. The Porsche 992 911 GT3 RS. It really pains me to say this, but this car really has gone overhyped all thanks to TikTok. And oh yeah, one thing I forgot to make clear is that there's a difference between overhyped and overrated. Overrated is when a car is getting held to a higher standard than it truly deserves. This could be performance-wise, looks-wise, and just things like that. A solid example of that would be the Toyota Supra. This car is overrated. On the other hand, the 992 GT3 RS is overhyped, not overrated. This car actually performs well, sounds excellent, and it looks great. The problem is that people act like this is the only car to ever exist, and they swear it's the best in the world. When in reality, it's not. It's not even the best Porsche, but I'll leave that debate for you guys in the comments. Long story short, the 992 GT3 RS is a car that deserves praise, 100%. I agree on that. I just feel like it gets a little more than it truly deserves. Next, we have the Lamborghini Huracan, the go-to flex car for every dropshipper who sells a Coors. I personally have never been a fan of the Huracan, but I think it's safe to say that TikTok made me dislike it even more. This is the first choice supercar for every teenage millionaire, and there's nothing wrong with that. It just gets tiring seeing the same car over and over and over again. All this has done is truly made me appreciate its twin a little bit more. Which by the way, I think is better than the Huracan and many of you guys do as well. Unlike the GT3 RS, I do think the Huracan is slightly overrated though. You're paying more for the brand rather than the car itself. With the 2023 base model Huracan having an MSRP of $212,000, I just feel like there's a lot more you could get for less. Huh. For instance, the 2023 Audi R8, which I'll argue looks better, it shares the same engine and parts and goes for $158,000. That's over a $50,000 difference. I'm not saying this is 100% because of TikTok, but at the end of the day, TikTok did make this car more unbearable than it really was. In third, we have a car that's truly the connoisseur of the overrated movement, the infamous Toyota Supra Mark IV. Growing up watching Fast and Furious, everybody loved this car, and it even became the face of the automotive industry for a long period of time. And like 90% of JDMs, the tuning potentials for the Supra is vast and I would never take this away from this car. This car is a great platform for just about anything but that's pretty much it. That sounds pretty harsh I know but for a small sensible price of $200,000 it makes it easier for you to see what I mean. And yes I actually saw a stock Supra posted for $200,000 and part of that is because of TikTok believe it or not. When there's demand for something the price goes up that's just business 101. I will say this though recently I have seen less and less Supra kids but that's only because they've transitioned to a a different car which i'll be talking about later don't worry i'm really trying to think of nice things to say about this car but there's no reason why a 300 horsepower car from the 90s should ever cost this much i might be wrong but that's just my take next we have the nissan skyline r34 which is truly just in the same boat as the supra again this car was originally popularized from fast and furious and completely off topic but i miss when fast and furious is truly about racing now it's about saving the world and robots and where was I? Oh yeah, the Skyline. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I got carried away. Similar to the Supra, it's just way too much money for the car, and the blame goes to the 11 year old kids who idolize it in corny edits like this. Now, one more gun, I just need shots. Okay, ma'am, calm down. We're gonna shots. Shots, 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 shots. Remember when I said the Supra kids transition to a different car? Well, I'm gonna give you three seconds to guess what that car is. Ready? Got an answer? Well, if you guess the BMW M5, you are correct. I mean, honestly, BMW as a brand is getting extremely overrated. Almost overnight, just like that. It seems like the Super Kids just all hopped on the M5 train. It's crazy because I remember making a video about Koenigsegg versus Bugatti, literally the two fastest cars in the world. And believe it or not, there was a gang of BMW lovers who compared the M5 to the Koenigsegg and Bugatti. The Koenigsegg and Bugatti, the two fastest cars in the world were being compared to a BMW. Think about that. 
there. The M5 is a great car, I won't lie, especially the M5 CS. But can we chill? Can someone tell me what the hype has been about these past few months? Why is it that all of a sudden everyone thinks these cars are all that? Let me know in the comments if I'm missing something, because I truly have to be. The next car is the Honda Civic, and the stigma with the Civic and the laptop has always been a joke for as long as I can remember. It's always been playful, and no one really thought these cars were all that. But came along the 11 year olds again. They think a Civic with a laptop automatically turns the car into an F22 fighter jet. I mean, there's the 1% of Civics that you can argue are F22 fighter jets, and those get a pass. But it does get very annoying, especially as someone who makes videos, when kids bring up a Civic with a laptop in every single comparison. Don't even get me started on how TikTok had a huge role to play on how terribly people mod these cars. Civics are now associated with the rice culture, and it's becoming rare and rare to see a Civic that looks decently clean. From the mods to the people who drive the car and all the people who don't even drive but still somehow have the biggest mouths, I think we can all agree that the Civic jokes are outplayed. Well, unless you're the 11 year old I'm referring to, and if you are, do better. We're closing out our final two cars, and if you've made it this far, you are clearly enjoying the video. Why not drop a sub so you don't miss any of my next vids? The seventh car that TikTok has ruined actually devastates me, the Miata. It hasn't ruined it in the same sense as the other cars, but ever since TikTok has become a thing, the Miata has been getting a lot, and I mean a lot more recognition. That's typically not a bad thing, until it is. The Miata has skyrocketed in price ever since. And guys, the Miata is fun, sure, but is it really worth $25,000? What happened to the days where you could get these for under $5,000? It's crazy how quick things change. Same way you should change that like button to blue. Ah, let me stop, let me stop. For a final one, we have one that's a little controversial, the Koenigsegg Yesco Absolute. This one is more recent, and it's not as apparent as the previous few, but it definitely still exists. The Koenigsegg fanboys literally die on the hill that the Yesco Absolute is gonna be faster than everything, and while that might be true, chill. Let the car do the talking, not you. So there we have it. I just realized 90% of this video was just me ranting, but I had to get that out. If you enjoyed the vid, make sure to like and subscribe, because 98% of you guys aren't. Take care, my friends, and until next time.